So this is a prototype of a, a single message chip. It's part number ISD1620BSY. I think it's Nuvatron. It's the manufacturer. Um, we had worked with one of these a long time ago, and I thought it might be fun to try and put it on a, one of our breakout modules. So it's got a few different functionalities, but um, one is that we've got uh, the buttons on board, and this is record, so we can go ahead and record a message. Uh, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. And um, then it's got the playback, so we can go ahead and play the message. Uh, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. And you can also adjust the um, sample rate, so we can try that again with the lower sample rate. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. And now you'll be able to hear that the sound quality is not as good. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Now the difference is that with the lower sampling rate, you can record 40 seconds of material, and at the higher sampling rate, you're limited to about 13. Um, we also have an onboard sort of cheap little microphone on there that you can use, or you could connect in your own microphone. And we are driving a speaker. It's a pretty good sized speaker, but it's a um, fun little module to work with and we should be getting it up on our website in a little bit. Here's a, a schematic for this module and on the left hand side we've got power inputs and control inputs for the record and play. Also the microphone inputs and the onboard microphone outputs. So you can just loop those directly to the microphone inputs. Uh, on the right hand side of the board we've got the speaker drivers and the um, oscillator control for the sample rate. Uh, this is a block diagram that shows um, how you might connect this module if you're using the onboard play and record buttons. And this block diagram shows how you might connect to this module if you're using a microcontroller to uh, control the record and play.